Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one I'm going to be showing you the best Raichu build for our raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is going to be a really overpowered one-shot build. It's going to be able to one-shot all your opponents. It's going to be great. Raid's going to be over so quick. And Raichu sleeping. Let's find out where to actually get Raichu. That's if you don't want to use a Thunderstone anyway. If you don't mind using a Thunderstone, you've already got one. You can just get Pikachus like right around here. But we're going to be going after the Raichu, which is going to be all the way in the top left corner, right around here. So I'm going to fly to the shrine and then make my way over. So you can find Raichu just in any of these really dark area right here. I like going up here around where this uh, little pool is. So I'm just going to climb over this uh, giant wall and I'll see you on the other side. As you can see on the map right now, there is actually a Raichu on the actual map to show that there's one nearby. Or to show that it spawns nearby. So I've dropped down on the other side. I'll see you when we find a Raichu. So here's a Raichu right here. We're just going to encounter it. And then we're just going to catch it. And don't worry, it will be an electric type terror. Not that we need it because it's a one shot build anyway. I'm actually using the, do you know the Pikachu level 100 raid where you catch it and it already has six perfect IVs. I'm using that Pikachu. I just used a Thunderstone on it. And then I just change it from water type terror to electric type terror, just because even if we're not going to need the actual terror type, I like having the same terror type as the type we're going to be attacking with. So as you can see, it's an electric type terror. So I suppose you could say this is the mightiest Mark Raichu. And we're going to be holding the life R, but what this does is it increases our damage by 30% at the cost of some of our HP after every attack. This doesn't include setup moves or moves that don't hit your opponent, just the ones that do damage. So to get this item, what you want to do is you want to head over to the main town, Mesagoza. We're going to be coming over to Mesagoza West. Once you're in Mesagoza West, we're going to be going forward, then turning left through this archway here, and then we're going to be turning right and go forward until you reach the end of these stairs all the way to the bottom and then we're going to turn left onto this little path right here then turn left again to the deli bird shop once you're inside the deli bird shop just click battle items scroll down about halfway down you will find the life orb it will cost you 50,000 poker dollars i want you to go ahead and buy that it's going to help us a lot on our one shot in build and then when you get out of the shop, we're going to be going back where we came from. So go back up the stairs. When you get to the top of the stairs, keep going forward. And we're going to turn right instead of going back to the Pokemon Center. And as you can see, the shop right here, the Chansey Supply Shop, I want you to go in there. And we're going to be running a Modest Nature. So scroll down until you get to the light blue mints. Buy the Modest Nature for 20,000 Poké Dollars if you don't already have one or your Raichu isn't a Modest Nature. So the modest nature up in special attack, down in attack, as you can see right there on the right hand side. Now we're going to click LB and look at our EVs. We have EVs into special attack and HP. This will maximize our chances of winning. We want that max special attack and that max HP so we can live even longer. If you don't know where to get the actual EV items, you can just go back in the Chansey Supply Shop. They will be expensive though. And to get to your max HP and max special attack, you're going to need 26 HP ups and then 26 calciums. This will cost you 525 thousand poker dollars so i hope you've been saving up and then it should look something like this now you want to make sure you have max ivs as well this will increase your stats even more if you don't know how to check your IVs, go in your main menu and then click boxes. Hover over your Raichu and then on the right hand side, you see where it says all the stats. If I click the plus button, it will show me all my max IVs. If you have a max IV, it will say best like it says on every single one of my stats. This is only because I caught it as a seven star raid when Pikachu was out. If I was to go down to a different Pokemon, let's say I'm on Luxray. As you can see, I've hyper trained five stats. That cost me 100,000 Poké Dollars. And then I just left attack because we was a special attacker in that one. So if it says anything except hyper trained or best, you're going to need to buy a ball cap. If you don't know where to get ball caps, just come to any deli bird shop, go inside there and then click general goods. You will see them for 20,000 Poké Dollars each. For every one ball cap, it's one max IV. So to get your Pokemon to the max, except for his attack, because we don't use it, we'll need five battle caps, which is 100,000 Poké Dollars. The reason I said check first is because if you say you have two max IVs, you will only need to spend 60,000 Poké Dollars and you can save yourself a bit of money. So after you've got all your battle caps, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming to the top of the map and flying over to Montenegro. 
Once you get to Montenegro, we're going to be coming all the way in the back to this person right next to the Obama Snow. Speak to him, he will hyper train your Pokemon. Right, so as I said before, if I was to click Raichu, because he's got max IVs, it won't actually take me to the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click a different Pokemon. So I'm going to use my Jolteon as an example, because it has the same IVs as my Raichu, or the same ones that it'll need. And then we're going to click Bottle Caps, and then you'll be clicking HP, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense and Speed and then click and start the training and then you're good to go you have the max stats that you possibly can have except for your attack and now we're going to go over the ability now the ability we're going to be using is a lightning rod now i'm using lightning rod because it's a nice move to have especially against electric types the electric type moves just won't work on you you'll draw them in and your special attack will get boosted this will help you even more to one shot your opponent really good ability now if you're not too bothered about lightning rod you can use the original ability it's not a bad ability it's static anytime anyone makes contact with the user so say if they use a physical move that makes contact with you they have a 30 percent chance of paralyzing themselves so if you do think that upgrading to lightning rod if you don't already have it isn't worth the ability patch then just don't do it it's not going to be like the world of difference because we're not guaranteed to come against an electric type now onto our moves we have thunderbolt nasty plot charge and thunder now Thunderbolt is not going to be our main move, that's going to be our backup move if all else fails. We will only use Thunderbolt as a last resort, but it is very powerful, 90 power can paralyze the target, amazing move. Our second move is going to be Nasty Plot, this will up our special attack by two stages, and this is how we're going to get that one shot away. We're going to boost our special attack immensely and then just hit them with thunder. Our third move is going to be a charge. What this does is it increases our special defense stat and it doubles the power of our next electric move. And that is going to be the key to us one-shotting our opponent. So both these moves are going to be massive in this build. Our fourth move is going to be thunder. This is going to be our main attacking move. And we're going to rely on this uh, quite a lot, even though it's only got 70 accuracy. It's a lot more powerful than Thunderbolt. Better chance of one-shotting your opponent. Now, if something goes wrong in the raid and you aren't able to get this thunder off, or something really unexpected happens and the shield goes up, or someone just wipes your like, stat boost or something like that, then we will switch to Thunderbolt and you will do your best to complete the raid after that. But this is only worst case scenario. Most of the time you'll be able to get that Thunder off. Now, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot and Thunder, you can learn all of these moves through level up. You don't need to worry about that. The only move that we will need to actually learn through other means is going to be Charge. Now, Charge, you can actually learn this through an actual TM. It's going to be an Egg move. But if you did the most recent 7 star raid, which was the Decidueye raid, something tells me you're going to have a Pokemon with charge. So what I want you to do is get that Pokemon with charge. For me, it's going to be Maraiden. But you can also use Pokemon like Belly Bull or something like that if you don't have Maraiden. So what I want you to do is have that Pokemon in your party. And then what we're going to do with Raichu is I'm just going to forget charge. Okay, so I want you to make sure that your Pokemon, your Raichu, is like mine. You want to have three or less moves, no more than three, or this won't work. And then we're going to be flying over to Cascarafa North. And what you want to do from here is you just want to jump over this water right here, and then turn left, and you will see a Deli Bird Trap. Just go inside there. Scroll down, and then you want to keep scrolling until you find the Mirror Herb. It will cost you 30,000. You want to make sure you have one of them. Once you have one, what we're going to do is we're going to equip it to our Raichu momentarily. Oh, here we go. Put the Mirror Herb on Raichu. So as long as you have your Raichu and then the other Pokemon that knows charge in your party, all you have to do is go into a picnic. After you've done that, come out of your picnic. I'd wait about five seconds or so, just so the game can register it. And then go in your Raichu, have a look at its moves. It should have charge. As you can see there, charge has been added. I'm just going to put my Maraidon away. Don't forget to change your held item on Raichu back to the life orb. And now we're fully set to go one shot some raids. But before we do that, I just want to say we've got a Discord. It's so much fun over there. Everyone's super friendly and everyone's welcome. Just come on over, say hello. It'd be amazing to have you guys there. I'm going to put a link in the actual description. So just hop down in the description and join it if you want. Let's get onto some raids. So we found our first raid. It's going to be a water type, a five star Glalie. Let's get straight into it. Now, this is more than likely probably going to be one of the fastest 
rage you've seen. So we're going to use Nasty Plot first. This will up our special attack by two stages. We're going to headbutt us, that's fine. We're going to use Nasty Plot again. This will put us on plus four special attack. Maybe not the fastest raid, it's just frozen us. We're going to have to heal up before we do anything. This isn't going as planned. Damn you, frozen person. Now we can carry on. We're going to use Charge now. We're not going to go for another Nasty Plot because we don't need it because this will double our next attack. It's gonna use Frost Breath, do not freeze me. And now we can just use Thunder and we'll finish the Glalie off. Goodbye, Mr. Glalie, and it's just gone. And, and we wasn't even on max special attack there, that was just two nasty plots. Just imagine how much damage you would do if you was on three nasty plots. If you're not 100% certain that you'll kill the certain raid Pokemon you're against, because it's a really strong one, three nasty plots, a charge, an attack cheer, Thunder, gone. Like, even though we was frozen that raid, I'm pretty sure that raid took us like two minutes, if that. This Pokemon is amazing. It's just going to disintegrate everything it comes against, unless it has Earthquake. Let's get on to the second raid. Up for the second raid is going to be a flying type five star slow bro. Well, let's see how it goes. So this Pokemon does have Yawn, so that could be annoying. We have a Tauros with Intimidate. It has own tempo. Wait, what? It just activated twice. Uh, so we're going to start off with a Nasty Plot. This will raise our special attack by two stages. It's going to start off with a Yawn. That's unfortunate. We're going to use a second Nasty Plot to put us on plus four special attack. Probably going to use Zen Headbutt, Liquidation, something like that. Time to heal to wake us up. I just beg that this Pokemon doesn't in to yawn all raid so that we only get one attack every time we wake up nothing worse than what then what and when that happens it's gonna use water pulse that's fine as long as we don't get confused critical hit and then it uses curse because a certain amount of times ran out this will raise its attack and defense so i feel like slow bros a bit bulkier than glalie so we're gonna use a third nasty plot before we charge it's gonna use yawn i hate sleep on this game and now we're gonna use charge we're gonna use yawn again obsessed with yawn this one we are asleep so we're going to have to use another heal to wake us up. Everyone on our team's asleep. We're going to use Zen Headbutt. We are fine with that. Now we can use Thunder. Please don't miss. It missed. It has a 30% chance to miss, which is very unfortunate. It's going to use Yarn, so we've got one more chance to hit. He's using Yarn again, twice in a row. Surely we don't miss twice in a row. Yeah, we don't miss twice in a row. Goodbye. Oh, nearly killed it. Slowbro's a lot bulkier than I thought it was. So its shield has now gone up. It nullifies the stats on our side. I'm just going to use the last heal to get rid of that sleep. And then I'm going to use Thunderbolt. It's going to use Yarn. What a surprise. Can you tell? how hostile I am towards the movie on, or just any kind of sleep. We're gonna use Thunderbolt again and finish it off. That's what Thunderbolt's for. If Thunder fails for some reason, and then you have to finish the raid off with uh, Thunderbolt. So the slow bro goes down. I've never won a raid and it felt like I lost the raid. But that's the second raid down with anyway. Let's move on to the third raid. So we was resetting, looking for raids, and we got lucky. We actually found a six star raid that's a water type, so we're going to do that one. It will be a Mimikyu. Let's begin. I wonder if Mimikyu hates Raichu as well. If so this will be an interesting fight. So we're going to use Nasty Plot to kick things off. It's going to use Play Rough. It's going to do a lot of damage, actually. Disguise is going to wear off. Even though Play Rough is a 90% accuracy, I bet it hits every single time this raid. We're going to use Nasty Plot again. This will put us on plus four special attack. Ha, it missed. Stand corrected. So that's two Nasty Plots. I'm going to use Charge. I, I just want to see how much damage we do against a six star raid with two charges. I mean, with uh, two Nasty Plots and a charge. We need Play Rough. The Misty Terrain's gone up. Hopefully this hits. It does hit. Let's see how much damage we do. So it does about just over half damage. That's not too bad. We need Play Rough finishes off. Yeah, that's fine. Gets a critical hit though. We're burdened with all these critical hits. Removes negative effects from itself. I'm going to show you in this raid what happens if you fail your one shot against a six star. Or if you just go down. You can leave the raid, I suppose, and join back and try and one shot it again. If you don't want to do that and you're kind of close to defeating it, just start using Thunderbolt as soon as you come back. As the second Thunderbolt, yeah, I kind of figured it'd use uh, Shadow Sneak to finish us off there. Nullifies all stats, that's fine. And now we're going to terrestrialize it and use Nasty Plot. Uses Play Rough, does a ton of damage because Misty Terrain's still up. But Mr. Train's gone now, so we get to use a second Nasty Plot. It uses Play Rough. It does the same amount of damage for some reason. We heal up. It misses its next Play Rough. That's wonderful. Now we're going to use Charge, so we can double that next attack. Going to use Play Rough. And now we're going to use Thunder. See how much damage it does. Its shield is up, but it still takes it out even when the shield was up, just completely. Now, usually you'd get someone on your team with Intimidate, or you would get an Arboliver to heal you up while you're doing all this stuff. If you're lucky enough, you'll get both. 
But if you have an Intimidate user, you can set up even more on these six star raids. As you can see, we didn't really struggle too much with that one. Like, we was never like panicking that we was gonna lose or anything. It was kind of just like basic. But in these six star raids, if you can get three nasty plots set up and then a go all out to increase your special attack even further and then a charge and then a thunder, the raid's pretty much won. Yeah, you will one shot it 99% of the time. So on your sixth turn, you will one shot it. Or if you're doing the five star raids, it'll be two nasty plots, a charge and then attacking most of the time. So that's on the fourth turn. This is from my experience. I hope you've enjoyed this build. The one shot builds are always fun builds. And if you want a build on the strongest Pokemon to ever exist, rumors are that this Pokemon actually created Arceus, then click right here and I'll catch you on the next one.